Today we turn our attentions away from domestic football viewers and we are back for Zenit St. Petersburg as we look to progress once again in the Europa Cup 2. Let's see if we can do it while we are away in St. Petersburg. Here we are then viewers, the starting 11 for the game against Zenit St. Petersburg is... Leo Jardim in goal, Escobar at left back, Perroso, Salomon in the middle, Michelin is at right back, Ben and Awazim in the defensive midfield, Rodriguez on the left, Zadaka is on the right today, Hannibal is in behind Adea leading the line for us. Adam Adea got in team of the week last week as well for Liga Nos, hopefully he can put that form into today's game as we look to upset the Apple Cat once again in this competition as we have done previously and look to go through to the next knockout stage. It's certainly going to be a tough ask. Can we do it? Let's find out. We're telling the boys here to go out there and make a difference. And we have got the faith. We are pointing that finger at them, telling them directly and firmly that we are expecting a result here. Just quickly before we get into this, Carius and Lovren are in the... Def well, one's in goal and one's in the defence for Zenit. If you're a Liverpool fan, you know what a complete liability they will be. If we can pepper them with shots, well, particularly Carriers, I'm expecting him to drop some. If we get at Lovren again, I think there's very much a mistake in him. You never know what could happen. I think Lovren and Carriers are the weak points of their team as he takes a goal kick. Now the man in question went, again, fall short, Escobar into Hannibal. Berner, this is the first time after just 13 minutes here. In St. Petersburg, Awazim into Berner, Hannibal, back to Berner once again. He looks to play it to the right and does. Picks up Michelin star, who's overlapped. Comes to this byline, Rodriguez, and it's gone wide. Rodriguez had just drifted in from that left-hand side. Done oh so well there, and unfortunately could not get the ball into the back of net. He had to do the snapshot, but just could not direct the ball on to the target. Nine shots, two on target. We are dominating this game, Zenit haven't even had a shot on target in their own backyard. You never know what could happen here. 57% of the possession has gone away. Apart from that one highlight, nothing really to note at the moment. It, I'm going to take this as a small little victory at the moment that we've reduced Zenit to absolutely nothing. We're going to pump the fist, tell the boys that we've been the better team and to continue and do what they have been doing already. We're going to send them back out there with those fist pumps. Just their spirits raised a little bit. Confidence within them. The, I mean, Zenit are playing a, fat, a flat 4-4-2 here, which is not something that we often come up against on this game. We're going to demand a little bit more from the boys as well. They've picked up an injury, which has gone off for Malcolm in the 58th minute. Michelin the ball in. Adea heads it away. Gray comes forward to Zenit now. Looking to break forward in their sky blue kit. This is a first attacking highlight we've seen for them. He's come a long way and Jardim saves it and it goes out. But Sabarit picks it up on the left. He crosses deep to Aurea. What will he do? Finds Wendell. Can we win this ball back as we force them backwards? And we just can't. Is that Serge Aurea that was at, that was at Spurs? Is that who it is? It is Serge Aurea that was at Spurs. He's a very good player. Is that they got a 36-year-old at centre-back? Hmm. Maybe. Do we... Do we try and just hit balls to him? Because his pace well, is certainly going to be caught out, you would imagine. Hannibal into Awazim. We will look to make some changes now with 13 minutes to go. I imagine this will go to extra time and penalties. Rodriguez again blasts over. It's been a game that's not a lot of chances. I mean, we've had 20 shots, five on target. We are going to make a change now just to try and just change things up a little bit. No one can really come on on that left-hand side. However... We're going to bring Ashley Fletcher on. He doesn't play well in that role, but I just think some fresh legs on the left-hand side. There's plenty of tied legs out there. It might just do us a world of good. Escobar with a throw in into Fletcher. No, it doesn't. Fletcher doesn't even win the ball, but we win it back on this left. Back to Escobar again. Berner gives the ball away cheaply. Straight to Gray in the St. Petersburg blue, and he comes forward. On this right-hand side, he's done a good mazy run here. He's got in behind. Oh, and he's he's been greedy there. He's been very greedy there and fired wide and thankfully doesn't make us pay. I mean, we're going into this game with three minutes of injury time and we are in extra time. We have two substitutions left to make. This game is here for the take and we'll pump, pump those fists once again. Just leave it at that as an overall team talk. Although there is a corner straight away for Zenit St. Petersburg. Oh, and it's gone over. I have an awful feeling this game will go to penalties. We're going to make another change. Some very tired legs out there today. Berner, we're going to bring Florini on for him. Again, doesn't play well in that position. That's the only thing about this tactic. We haven't got people that can really play the positions. But I just think it is 
it just gives us that more defensive stability at the back, having two defensive midfielders. Maya with a free kick. It's whipped in and Gray's there again. And just before half time and extra time, it they go close and it remains nil nil. And I think we are heading to penalties. And we are gonna have to think about penalty takers with our next substitute with seven minutes this game remain. I'm thinking about bringing a centre back off with three minutes to go. Oh, there's a late highlight here. Hannibal heads it forward to Zadaka. What will he do? He looks to stride forward into acres of space that's in front of him. Low. Use your brain, Zadaka. Please use your brain. As Zenit come forward once again, he was Dizibu? Dizibu. And they come and they look to break forward on this right, but they play it back to Wendell. Meyer, he's been involved in a lot of things as Meyer, and we need to keep eyeing him. A good ball to Gray on this right hand side. The two players that have really made them tick. Oh, no. No, no, no. No. I know this is going to be a penalty. Anxious wait. Oh, no. In the 119th minute, can Leo Jardim make himself a hero here in literally what will be the last kick of the game before a penalty shootout? Oh. oh, no, what a way, what a way for us to lose this game in the 121st minute, literally the last kick of the game, and that's it, we're out. Oh, dear. Tell the boys we're not happy with that. How on earth have we just given away a penalty in the 119th minute? In the 121st minute, rather. That's, I mean, either way, it's bad. Oh, my word. Awful. And there we are. The European dream is disappointingly over against St. Petersburg in a game that we massively, massively dominated and deserved to get something out of. Genuinely think my nan would have done better up front today than our strikers. I agree with you, Gabriella. I agree with you. Well, after that late disappointment then, viewers, we have to pick ourselves right back up again for a game in just four days' time on Monday against 12th place Packers to Ferrier. I'm going to do the double header. We're going to face Estrill on Friday as well just to get both games done. And I think they could give us a sporting chance if we win them of staying in our job. Then we will have two games remaining of this month and whether the board wish to keep us or wish to get rid of us. Just looking at this table very, very quickly. If we beat Pacos de Feria, we will go above them. So it's vital that we win against them to pick up those three crucial points. And Estrell would be within touching distance as well. They're only six points off us. You never know. I think this table could look very, very different in just two games' time. If you have enjoyed that, then viewers, please don't forget to smash that like button for me. Share the video around and subscribe to the channel for more content. Let me know what you think as well of that 121st minute penalty. Did we deserve something out of the game? Let me know down in that comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you again for more next time.